Hey love, so today we're going to do a mukbang while also telling you a story about one of my first concerts ever, Lady Gaga. I'm not a supermodel from the magazines. I'm okay with not being perfect, cause that's perfect to me. So Faridas, and I also have water, and I have my iced mocha, three mocha, three toffee nut with soy. Now let's get to talking. So, and I also get a tortilla on the side because that's just what I like. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little quick story time because I got stuff to do, also known as draw and watch Netflix. But you know, stuff. So, it was somewhere between the year 2009 and 2013. Not really sure what year it was. I asked my cousin, but she doesn't remember either. So, it was somewhere between there. It was one of her very first concerts, like when she first came out, so whenever that was. And um, she, her tickets were on, on were for sale for like $90, which is really good. Because if you try to get her tickets nowadays, they're really super expensive. Let's try this out. So Frida, she's just so good. <laughs> so we get there, we, we drive a couple hours, we get there and we go up to the station where you're supposed to go through to go park. And they're like, Oh, you have to have cash to pay for parking. Neither one of us had any cash on us. So they were like, oh, you can give us your, um, you can give us your license and we'll hold that until the end of the show, but make sure you come right at the end of the show. Otherwise we won't have them anymore. What? Okay, and she didn't want to use hers. I don't remember why. And so I was like, okay. So I just gave them mine. Maybe she didn't have it. I don't know. And so I give them my card, right? And then we go and park. And we go out to where everyone's waiting to go be held in, right? And they're like, you can't bring your cameras. You can't bring your phones because they don't want you to take pictures or videos, which I mean, everyone does, like whatever. And so I was like hiding my camera. Um, and then everyone out there, not everyone, that was dramatic. A lot of people were dressed up in like her outfits that she would always wear, like the bubble outfit, um, the cute like outfits that she wore that were like lightning bolts and stuff, like all the outfits she wore before, like I'll put some right here. People were dressed up as her. It was freaking cool. There were so many people dressed up as Lady Gaga. It was freaking awesome to watch. So we get inside and we get we get to sit down on our seats. We were in like kind of in the back, which I mean was fine. We could still see. We weren't up close, but we weren't like all the way in the back. We were kind of like three fourths of the way to the back, if that makes sense. And the concert was really great. Her voice is just like Amaze balls. I freaking loved it. It was a great concert, but the entire time that I, I don't know why I do this. My roommate does this when she's talking sometimes. And so I do it now. But anyway, the entire time of the concert, I was freaking out and having a panic attack about what if they don't have my driver's license anymore? Oh my God, oh my God, we have to go, we have to go. So, the entire time of the concert, it was half of me trying to enjoy it and the other half anxiety attack, freaking out that I wasn't gonna have a license anymore, that they were gonna get rid of it. And the second the show was over, I was like, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go right now. And she's like, they're doing an encore. I'm like, but then, but, and I was like, okay. And then I sat there and just waited 
for it to be over, but literally the entire concert, I couldn't even really fully enjoy it because I had such bad anxiety over the fact of my license not being there anymore, guys. Imagine spending money to go see someone that you really like and then not even be able to enjoy it because your anxiety is like destroying you. Like if you don't have anxiety, you probably won't understand it, but if you have anxiety, you'll get what I'm saying. Like, it's really hard not to freak out. And you're like, I'm like trying to calm myself down. Like, it's fine. Like, they're not going to throw your license away. Like, it's cool, Brandon. You're going to be fine. You know, and they had it. We went and got it afterwards. And then she bought some like merch or whatever. And it was cool and everything. But like, I was literally having a panic attack because I thought my license was going to be thrown away. <laughs> And apparently she's going on tour again, so that's pretty cool. But um, people on my Facebook were telling me about how she's really like anti, um, she hates when people like get mad at her about fur and stuff. I'll put some stuff right here. And yikes, the way she talks about it is really disappointing. She literally is basically like, fuck you. I don't care if you guys don't like me wearing fur and don't like me wearing animals. You've seen me do it in the past. You obviously know I'm doing it. To me, it's art. Like, I'm sure there's a way you can find a version of all of those outfits that don't involve using an animal and they'll look just the same. Like this. Like Sofrida's, okay? If you look at it, it looks like shredded, like not shredded chicken. It looks like pieces of chicken, but it's not. It's tofu and it tastes delicious. You could do the same. Like, there's fake leather. There's fake, like, so many fake things that you could use. You don't have to climb out of an eggshell. You know what I mean? I love Lady Gaga, but that was bullshit. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys soon. I promise I'm not going to ditch you again. I'm trying to get better at recording and putting things up in a decent manner. Also, look at my cue. Okay, bye.